Hey, welcome to Laguna Seca for this year's ALMS round. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the platform that Porsche Motorsport provides all of their customers. Behind me is the Porsche GT3 Cup car. This car is about 85% of a GT3 street car with all of the necessary safety and performance things that you can bolt onto a race car. The way you see the car behind me is the way it is delivered to the customer. Uh, we produce more of these cars than any other manufacturer that produces a turnkey race car in the world. So uh, we're really proud about where this car races all the way across the world from the Asian Carrera Cup, England, France, Germany, the Super Cup of course which is our flagship and the IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge which uh, is where John Bennett uh, is racing this car and uh, getting to grips with how the Porsches drive, letting some of our mechanics learn about the 911. So behind me is the GT3 RSR, my ride for this weekend and the season going forward. Uh, the GT3 RSR is part of GTE Pro and AM uh, across the world in the ACO regulations and in ALMS here in GT. Um, Basically, this is another step forward, uh, same beginning platform as the GT3 Cup. Uh, the original shell comes from a 911 streetcar, but of course, everything is built around it to the specs of uh, GT racing. Um, wider front track, longer wheelbase, a lot more aerodynamic. Uh, the engine is lighter, it's faster, it has very few uh, running hours on it, which means that we run it as high performance as possible and then it needs to be rebuilt accordingly. So, a lot more money, a lot more performance, and of course, now we're competing against the likes of GM, Ferrari, Aston Martin, everybody that you see in the GT ranks. One of the biggest aesthetic differences that you can see between a GT3 Cup car and an RSR is down here in the front fenders. As you can see, this is primarily a stock size fender that comes over the front tire, and then this is a little bit of an arch support. Uh, if you look at the RSR, um, this is a whole different fender piece. It's allowing you to have a much wider and bigger front tire. Um, you can see that these arches come all the way out here. This was a, an aerodynamic update that we did at the beginning of 2012. Um, if you look down at the splitters, for instance, to compare basically how this lip comes over, I mean, it's a much larger slip splitter. It gives a lot more aerodynamic grip than what you see here is a, a spec splitter uh, plastic piece that is amongst all the GT3 Cup cars across the, the world run this same splitter. So there's a lot of differences in technical side of both cars. So the GT3 Cup car uh, versus the RSR from a power plant standpoint, uh, obviously both of them have a rear engine which is completely unique to uh, sports car racing with the 911. Um, to my left, the Cup car has a 3.8 liter uh, uh, about 400 horsepower. Um, to my right, we go up to the 4 liter uh, in the RSR, but not only from a displacement, but torque figures, uh, light, and horse, light and parts inside, uh, much different. From a gearbox standpoint, uh, in the RSR, we're allowed to run a paddle shift system. Uh, X-Track and Megaline give us a really, really updated racing gearbox. Uh, to my left on the Cup car, it's more of a basic sequential gearbox. You're still manually shifting with your hand. Uh, cost control is, is number one there. Uh, it's the same for everybody, no ratio changes, no differential changes where with the RSR and ALMS we're making tons of technical changes and basically tuning the car at all the different racetracks. So whether it's a GT3 Cup or the GT3 RSR, uh, you've got a racing version of a 911 that's produced from Vysok, basically turnkey for the customer. Uh, with Core Autosport they've taken a hold of uh, one of each and it's been great to watch them grow and evolve and really learn how to run these cars and looking forward to this first ALMS weekend here at Laguna.